Hey my best friends, Alan Palin here, and in today's video, we are going to be painting rocks. <laughs> and I know what you guys are thinking. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> uh, so to spice it up, I thought we could make them all spooky seasoned themed, which would be so awesome. I wrote, oh my gosh, this is my cup of coffee. <laughs> I wrote down, uh, these little things <laughs> that we could paint on the rocks. We have like grave, full moon, skull, bats, eyeball, etc. I figured we could pick at least five of these, um, but to make it more spicy and fun, like we always love to do on this channel, I'm gonna have another cup. And then these are challenges. So there's like eyes closed, 10 seconds, one color, left-handed, finger painting, Oh my gosh. Um, so we're gonna pick a theme and a challenge. And aside from the paints that this comes with, I did bring out all of my paints. I'm hoping this doesn't take up the whole video just to spice it up even further. I figured we could take all of this glitter glue and dump it on a giant rock. Oh my God, it would be like a giant crystal, right? So we're gonna do that to this rock. I was gonna do it to this rock, you guys. But, oh, my Atlanta. Can you see it on camera? I'm like, I'm making my shirt dirty. Look at this. This is a real, can I like tap it and make, ooh yeah, focus it. Look at that, you guys. Look at that, that's a real genuine crystal. Oh God, it's so heavy. So, I was also thinking, aside from making our giant crystal with the glitter glue, I would give the big rock a couple whacks with a hammer and we could see if there's more crystals. Ah! To save just a little bit of time, I cut up our little strippy strippies. I did want to unbox this little kit with you. I believe my mom found it somewhere on clearance. Uh, but you, of course, could do this with your own painting supplies and your own rocks. Uh, but this just comes with a book. Ugh. <laughs> the ideas might be cool for my jewelry and my business. Uh, but some river stones, eight things of paint, which I'm sure the paint is not very good, and one paintbrush. One. I don't know why you need such a big box for just one little paintbrush. The paints actually don't look too shabby. I was expecting them to look much more diluted and watery. Cute little book, fun ideas. Hey, I love it. What? This is actually, surprisingly, a very nice paintbrush. I almost called it a toothbrush. Uh, ooh, I'm definitely gonna be saving this when we're done with the project. And here are the stones that it comes with. These are some nice rocks, you guys. Apparently, we're only gonna be painting four rocks today, just because I wanna use the ones that were included. Uh, so we'll do four rocks for our challenges. I'm gonna try to protect my picnic table with my dear life. If I have to do an eyes closed type of thing, we might have to move over to the grass. <laughs> I think we're gonna start off with the biggest rock that it came with. And for our challenges today, we're gonna be doing, I'm so excited, I feel like I'm on a game show. I plan on doing this when we do my Halloween cooking, cookie decorating video. We have eyes closed, <laughs> speak of the devil. Eyes closed, we're gonna be painting. What are we painting? Bats. <laughs> um, okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh gosh. Well, at least we know what we're doing already. Uh, this one's unfortunate because bats are black and so is this rock. We are most definitely going to be using that new paintbrush, if I can find it. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a giant moon with my finger, with the yellow. The yellow is going to be two in from the right on the top paint. <laughs> and then the black is also two in on the bottom. I'm going to paint the bats with my eyes closed over the moon. <laughs> Alright, ready guys? We don't got all day. Three, two, one. Ooh, I should have seen prior if the paint needs any mixing. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go in with my finger. Ooh, it's warm. <laughs> Feels like you're in. Yeah. 
like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully it's pigmented. Because, oh gosh, I feel like a lot of these rocks are gonna involve like two coats and we don't have like time for that. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep my eyes closed while this dries, that's nuts. Okay, we're gonna try to go paint the bats. It says bats plural, so that's more than one. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Okay. There's a bat. <laughs> I would dip the brush again, but I'm afraid to cross contaminate. Okay, I guess we'll put another bat there. I'm gonna open my eyes now. Oh! It looks like a double moon situation, but those definitely look like bats. I love it. Hopefully this dries on here nice. I could put them in front of my house. My my family would be so impressed. I forgot to bring paper towel. So at least for now, we're just going to wipe it on this cardboard here. I'm trying really hard to stay in frame. Alright. For rock number two, I think we're going to use this other really nice one. <laughs> Might as well get the good ones out of the way. We're going to use... Oh, human stamp. <laughs> so, <laughs> human stamp is basically, I'm going to paint it on my skin. <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp it on the rock. Ah! <laughs> I'm glad we picked that one. Okay, what are we human stamping? An eyeball. This one will be perfect, I feel like, of all things to have to do because it's nice and simple. We're not going to make it perfect because... Let's just face it, none of these rocks are actually going to look good. I'm going to take a clean finger, though. Go in with the white. Oh, I used a lot. Uh, we're going to paint on my arm the white for the eyeball. Ooh, and I didn't really think this through. I probably should have left out where the black is going to go. Because, like, maybe the white will come off on the over the black. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. We're going in with the blue next. We're gonna take the back of the paintbrush and we're gonna put it in the middle of our eye. Oh yeah. Nice baby blue eye situation. We gotta do this really quickly actually now that I'm thinking about it also because this paint will dry. <laughs> okay, last but not least, we're going in with the black part of the eye. Ha 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 ha. It's like that giant floating eye in Mario. N64. I like those OG games. Oh, shut up. Shut the front door. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one's my favorite so far. I love them. Ah. <laughs> What's next? We're making good timing, you guys. Maybe we'll even get the little 10 second challenge. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're gonna use this rock. Uh, why not? Okay. Finger paint. <laughs> I've been doing that already. <laughs> what are we finger painting? What are we finger painting? No! Stick one out! <laughs> A pumpkin! Perfect! That should be easy. This challenge is outrageous. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the orangey orange. This feels familiar. We've been doing this all day. Ah, I'm already a professional finger painter. Okay, we're gonna paint our little pumpy pumpy. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be kind of lumpy. That's okay, guys. I love a good lump. Ooh, okay, make it a little. Oh shoot! I almost spilled all the paint. <laughs> This is a good pumpkin. Okay. Nice and simple, kind of fat. Oh my gosh, we don't have brown. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna give him a little green stemmy stemmy because he's nice and fresh. I'm scooping off some of the extra paint just so there's 
a fine line left on my middle finger. And we're just gonna place it atop the pumpkin. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so cute. Let's make him look like a jack-o-lantern real quick. I'm gonna use my pinky. And I give him some triangle eyes. Well, they're circles, okay? Got some eyes. <laughs> There's the eyes. Whoa, we're gonna give him a creepy mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like me. Last but not least, we're gonna go in with the smallest rock, I guess. And what are we gonna do to it, you may ask? I'm wondering also. I don't know either. Two colors. So we have to do two colors. No more, no less. I wish we could do all these, honestly, but I'm excited to do our other little projects quick. We're doing so much stuff. What else? A grave. <laughs> Two colors, huh? I got you. Okay. We're gonna start off with our fingers again. We're gonna get some white and a tiny speck of purple. We're gonna blend that together. Um, and this is gonna be all white. So now I have to use light purple. <laughs> I wasted a color. <laughs> okay, we're doing that for the <laughs> background. <laughs> the whole background. Okay, I guess the whole rock, but we're doing it kind of like this. So maybe it'll look like fog or foggy skies or fog. Okay. Now we're gonna paint precisely our little tombstone, right? We had a grave, yeah. Okay, so there's the grave. I'm gonna make it look like it's nice and rustic and old. And we're gonna write the classic R.I.P. on it. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. I killed the meow. <laughs> Definitely did not. <laughs> That was not me. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> there's our ground. Okay, we use the black. Still, this is still black, you guys. I'm not cheating. Um, we're gonna add a couple <laughs> little cracks on our grave. Ooh, yeah, it's so spooky and cool. I put a little bat. A couple little. They look like birds. Okay, we put some bats in the background. And there's our grave, and I love it. I feel like this project was a huge success. Success. <laughs> now we're gonna take this big rock and we're gonna move on to the grass. Don't forget your glitter glue. Now we're gonna open up our glitter glue. I'm gonna empty one full tube at a time, but I'm gonna alternate colors uh, and maybe near the top layer, try to do a pattern. I'm not really sure how much glue is really in these tubes, but let's get to glue in. Ooh, it's very liquidy. Tube number one. Oh, can you guys see what I'm doing? Oh, it's so sparkly in the sunlight. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea, but it just really spoke to me. Tube number two. Ooh, that's a pretty gold color. I should have saved these for my crafts, but I have oodles of glitter. This was a pretty, like, rose gold coppery moment. At the end, I might have to use my finger or something and spread them around. Silver. Ooh. Guys, <laughs> I keep like, it looks weird like a gel, but that's because it's glue. I'm so used to working with paint nowadays. Let's use this pretty black. Oh, oh, this black is gorgeous, honestly. I'm gonna save some of that for the top top. I think they only gave me one black. Those stingy guys. <laughs> Here's another one, I lied. I love it so much. It's so pigmented. Ugh, I feel like it's gonna take over. Okay, we're gonna use our fingers now and slather it on the rock. I feel like I'm gonna move this onto a brick. That way I can get the bottom of it. I actually want this to look nice and I'll probably seal it with some clear coat after this video is over. 
There we go. It's literally dripping. We're gonna go in with the rest of our colors now. Our glue. We got <laughs> uh, four tubes left. I'm trying to keep all the leaves and debris off because it's glue and they'll definitely stick. I should have brought some of my glitter out here and I could have made this rock even more sparkly. I love it. We're gonna use the last three and kind of try to make a pattern on it. And I'm hoping since the rock is so wet, the glue will kind of like paint pouring just flow together. If I can get it on the freaking rock. Here's our gold color. Oh yeah, so pretty. Pretty, pretty. And I think I'm just gonna, to kind of blend it together, run the tube across. Alrighty friends, here is our rock. I'll include a picture at the end of what it looks like dry, but I love it. Oh my goodness, friends, what a fun time this has turned out to be. I'm gonna flip you around real quick before I forget so I can show you guys just like one last close up of all the rocks we painted. There you go. I love the eyeball one so much. These two are probably my favorite. These two are I. Right. <laughs> uh, but now we are, in fact, gonna take this hammer. Uh, I'm gonna try not to damage these crystals. Now you can really see them. Um, but we're gonna give this rock a couple whacks and see if we can find any more crystals. I feel like rocks with like these little holes and stuff in them are where crystals develop because like water and minerals have a chance to get inside. I don't really know what I'm talking about, so as usual, don't quote me. <laughs> I shouldn't be wearing sandals and I should probably have safety glasses. And I brought my sunglasses inside. No crystals here. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. I think we're onto something though. There's like a weird thing in it. It's probably a fossil. I accidentally broke our crystal, but it's right here still. Oops. I feel like I should flush my eye out. Okay, <laughs> that was in my eye. Well, I guess time will tell, but we're done hitting the rock. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was where proper safety equipment, my friends. Uh, other than that though, I'll definitely include a picture of the one rock with the glue on it when it's dry. The last thing I found, I feel like I ruined it because I just kept hitting it with the hammer. Other than that though, you guys, I had so much fun. I love so much hanging out with you as per usual. I'm so excited to hang out again really soon because we're posting every single day this month. I hope you're there for that. I love you all so much and I'll see you super soon. Goodbye, friends. Unfortunately, our little friend from the other day did not quite make it. As you will see, almost all of the glitter glue has been washed off. I allowed it about a day to dry, and then unfortunately, I forgot about it. We had a couple days of on and off rain. If I would have had a chance to clear coat this prior, it may have lasted, but at least it was really cool while we actually did the project.